Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we're going to have a look at our droop setup on a Cebus machine. So you now join me up in the cab of our Cebus Cmatic machine, looking at again some of the transmission settings that we can make on our machine. So what can we do in relation to droop? Well droop is obviously a fundamental part of how any CVT transmission works. So in our machines, if we pop into our transmission menu, we now have a dedicated engine droop menu. So in here we can see our two different presets of eco and power. Now the important thing to remember about eco and power is that they are just names. It is all about the percentage value at which we set them. Essentially what it means, for example, if I use an engine droop of 20% that I'll set here in eco, what I have available to me is 80% of the engine RPM. So I knock off 20% on the top. So 1860 RPM plus the extra 20 would give me the maximum RPM of my machine. The same goes for our power. So there are two different presets that we can change between quickly and easily. As a rule of thumb, what I generally tend to do is I send my eco at 25% which I will use for field work and heavy draft work. And I will set my power at 15%. And I will use this for road work applications. Reason being is road is generally a slightly faster application. So we want to be closer to the peak power of the machine. So that 1950 RPM, broadly speaking, depending on the machine. And 25% is lower down the RPM at about just shy of 1700 RPM in this example. This brings us a little bit closer to our peak torque. So broadly speaking, 1550. So in this case, for heavy draft work applications, we're going to be relying on the torque a bit more, giving us a bit more pulling force and a bit more fuel economy as well. Obviously, these can then be dialed in into proper detail for your own specific applications, but they're broadly good starting points. Down below these then, we then see our fixed engine speed mode droop here as well. So this is used when we have an engine memory or our hand throttle engaged. And essentially this works in the exact opposite way as our eco and power modes. So rather than taking 20% off of the top, it now gives us a ceiling. So rather than rising by that amount, it will fall by that amount. So what do I mean by that? Well, in this example, we can see that our engine memory number two is set to 1900 RPM that we can see here. And when I use a engine droop of 5%, for example, it will allow it to drop by 5% down to 1800 RPM. For nearly every PTO application where we want a consistent load and a consistent RPM, we would use the lowest percent possible. But for different applications where we have inconsistent loads on the PTO, for example, a big square baler where we have the piston coming in and out, we would use a slightly higher percentage. So maybe 15% in that example. This will then allow the RPM to fall a little bit further before the forward speed of the machine is reduced. So put simply, for our eco and our power and our regular driving applications, we are creating a ceiling for the RPM to operate in maximum load conditions. So it won't rise above that. When we are in fixed engine speed mode, we are creating a floor for the engine RPM to not fall below when we are in that peak load condition. Now, a quick and easy way that we can adjust these from our home display is by using our silhouette that we looked at in our uh, display layout menu. We can tap on our gearbox menu and we can see we have our three different droop modes available to us and the fact that we can adjust between them. And we can also quickly and easily change between eco and power on the move there. So selecting power if so needed. We can also then select these as a function key to quickly and change between them when we're changing from road to field for example. So thank you for watching everyone. Please feel free to check out some of the other videos in relation to your own machine. And for any further information, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.